What's going on everybody, Diallo Rex TV back with another video and I would like to discuss with you all some comments that were made by former NBA player Darren Collison. He just recently did an interview about the possibility of an NBA return and I want to get you guys thoughts in the comment section and what do you guys think if Darren Collison was to possibly come out of retirement and how much of a chance do you give the Los Angeles Lakers as they head into the postseason of signing Darren Collison to go on a playoff run. But anyway, Darren Collison did an interview with the channel that goes by the name Windy City Breeze and he covers the Chicago Bulls similar to my channel how I covered the Los Angeles Lakers but he asked Darren Collison about a possible return and I'm going to play the clip of what Darren Collison had to say and then I would like to give you guys my feedback so go ahead and listen to this clip and we're going to return. Darren I appreciate you for joining me man I really do it's it's awesome that you were able to take time out of the day you seem like a real community kind of guy before we get you out of here there was a lot of calls for you to come back toward the end of the season. Is there any any chance of you coming back out of retirement? Um, I don't know. You know, I've, I've always open that. I leave that question open because I mean, I just don't know. You know yeah. what I mean, it's a situation where you know I can't predetermine because you know the situation that we're going through right now, and you know I'm enjoying my time with the family. You know what I mean? So we'll see. So if you guys would like to watch the full interview, the link is in the description box. But so Frank Vogel is a coach that Darren Collison is very familiar with. He's been to the playoffs. Uh, Darren Collison has a ton of playoff experience with Frank Vogel on the Pacers. So obviously that gives the Lakers a slight advantage. Obviously Darren Collison hasn't completely shut the door on an NBA return because if he was, he would have just been like, nah, man, I'm done, okay? I'm a family guy now, and I ain't talking about Peter Griffin, okay? So there's a very high chance that Darren Collison may come back, but for some reason, you know, I felt like it was something sketchy when reports came out that Darren Collison wanted to return to the NBA and come out of retirement, and all of a sudden he just said, never mind, I'm going to just stay retired. I'm going to stay at home and raise the family, you know, and be with the family. I just felt like... There was some kind of desire and passion to get back on that court and he felt like he could help a team in some way in order for those reports and rumors to come out there had to be some kind of talkings and dealings that he had with teams and he really wanted to come back that's just my opinion you know i went on instagram earlier today and you guys know detective d allen is always on a prowl okay i'm always trying to find clues information i'm always doing my research for you guys and things like that and seeing things that stand out and something and just looking for things that look extremely fishy and i bring the news directly to you guys okay darren collison posted a video of him doing the three-point challenge for this pandemic that's going on and he challenged his friends you know he challenged that marcus cousins and the other few nba players now some of you will say dial you're reaching bro. you're reaching but listen y'all probably like he just wanted to participate in the challenge no listen you were the first thought that came to my mind is i'm like this man his jumper is falling okay the man's jumper is falling like a drunk man okay so there's no question that this man still got it he, he still got it there's no question now me reading into this instagram post if collison is done with the sport of basketball and he's completely walked away from the game you know why are you posted any videos to me it was him still wanting to prove that he could still play why are you posting any videos of you shooting the ball you know and this is just me thinking this just is my opinion you know this is just more than a challenge this video to me is darren collison proving something to not just you know to just challenge your peers but to also prove that he could still play at a high level you knew that you were going to get some kind of attention okay getting the fans all excited showing that you still better than most of these bums these scrubs today okay then i go look at another post that you had on instagram that you shared of a video of him and zach levine during the game and he put some laughing emojis like oh stop it no zach don't push me zach you're my friend but it seems as though to me he's reminiscing on good times and i ain't talking about the tv show okay good times you know some of you young guys don't know what that is but he also talked about or spoke about how he was offered a deal from the chicago bulls i'm not going to play that clip because obviously i don't care this is not a bulls channel he was offered a deal to join the chicago bulls to join zach levine due to his relationship with zach levine now listen to the average mind y'all say i'm just reaching okay but to me i felt as though darren collison still has the urge to be on that court and i think deep down inside i think he misses the game of basketball which you guys can't say is impossible because for a player it's extremely hard to just it's extremely hard for these players to just walk away from not just being in the spotlight and a thrill of what the game bring but the fact that you're at home knowing you're not even injured 
and knowing that you are far more far more talented than 95 percent of players in the game right now and you could definitely contribute to a team that's really in need of a point guard or just a guard in general especially a championship team especially the lakers you know just these thoughts creeping through your mind of how you walked away from all that money okay like i said i believe in the most high okay but i ain't walking away from all that money okay now obviously i ain't gonna sit up here and explain to you guys how collison will help the lakers and how great he would be you know just looking at the, just look at this man he's just showing off just showing off dropping swishes like bombs okay dropping them like it's world war three okay the lakers definitely need some more three-point shooters now darren collison would be a great addition to the lakers once again i'm not reporting or breaking any news but if collison did decide to come back which is still a possibility with only 17 games left in the season you know i feel like the lakers would be in the driver's seat to sign darren collison especially being as though his decision came down to the clippers and the lakers and i I feel like the Clippers don't really need him at this point, especially now that they have Reggie Jackson and Patrick Beverly at the guard position. I think him joining the Bulls is not out of the question, but to me, what good does it do to join the Bulls at this moment? You're almost at the end of the season. <laughs> it's not like they're going anywhere, okay? That makes absolutely no sense in my opinion. I think the Lakers adding Darren Collison would somewhat close the gap somewhat, just a little between the Lakers and the Clippers, just because of how skilled he is in terms of shooting, ball handling, etc. In addition to that, with being able to keep Kyle Kuzma and have, you know, so many weapons in your arsenal. But something just seemed fishy with Collison and that Lakers game, um, to me, him just being there. But I hope Darren Collison does change his mind. You know, Collison could be that secondary ball handler that these sports analysts claim that the Lakers desperately need. And he's definitely a great ball handler. You know, he's quick, great crossover moves. He has the speed. And most importantly, he would be inexpensive. <laughs> when it comes to me, I'm very cheap. Okay, tight on the dollar. Yeah. So it'd be a win-win situation for the Lakers and, you know, Collison. The time would be perfect as you look at the landscape of the NBA. All the top tier teams are suffering from some kind of injuries. If you're Darren Collison, if you show out with a top with a few top notch performances on the main stage on nationally televised games in front of millions and millions of people for the most popular franchise in the world right now. Do you know how much money you'll be offered next season, especially if you wanted to join the Bulls and you possibly have a championship ring to leverage in negotiations? <laughs> Man, turning down that little money you turned down before will seem like turning down $20, okay? Because even role players nowadays are getting paid like starter players, okay? Like superstars. But Darren Collison, even God is like, <laughs> Darren, you tripping, bro. God is telling this man, you tripping. The most high is telling this man, you're tripping for not taking that money, okay? Go get the money and praise me later, okay? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.